Hey, what's going on? Today we're looking at this guy here. This is the Azio Prism. Azio makes some uh, interesting keyboards. And this one is the Prism, and this is a membrane keyboard uh, that says it kind of has the um, kind of feel of a mechanical keyboard. Um, it's roughly about close to $20, $30 for this one. As you can see, it has different colored lights. An off mode and then this rainbow mode. Uh, in the back, you have these little legs that fold down. And that's about it. There's nothing else in the box for it. There's no extra keycaps. There's no anything, no adapters or anything else. There's no plugs on this or nothing. It's just a simple membrane keyboard. You wouldn't want to use this for gaming. Okay, so for typing wise, I mean, the keys are relatively mushy. They're not responsive. Uh, you know, it's good enough for maybe web browsing. Uh, I wouldn't want to type a book on this, but if you're doing like something small, like posts on Instagram or something else like that, I could see this being useful for that. This is a basic keyboard. That said, I think there are keyboards from Amazon Basic that are better than this keyboard. Um, I mean, it's memory. It's a, it's a what they call a membrane keyboard. So instead of mechanical replacement keys. Uh, the keys, there's a, a rubber silicone-ish kind of thing underneath. And you just press on this, and that presses on uh, like a little switch. Um, so the good points on it, I'm going to give the good points. It does light up for the cost. Um, the light is not bright at all. I mean, even in this light, where this is a dim light, and I mean, it gets better if you do like a solid color. It's a little brighter, but it's good for night browsing, um, just typing out something, basic typing and everything. I think that it does a decent job with that. It is a membrane keyboard, remember. It's not going to give you that satisfying click of a mechanical or, or a 60% mechanical keyboard. That said, it's not bad entirely. I don't like that the lights don't have any brightness setting. It's nice that they can do different colors, but they do nothing else. There's no special settings where it flashes or anything else like that. It literally just lights up and it types, and that's basically it. And if you're looking for something like that, then fine, I would recommend this. If you're looking for a gaming keyboard, you want some bling, you want some nice bright lighting, or at least be able to adjust the lighting, um, this is not the keyboard for you. This is just a basic keyboard. Um, and that's it. Uh, I really, there's nothing else to say about this keyboard. It doesn't do anything uh, wrong. Uh, it's just an, an average kind of keyboard, membrane keyboard. I don't know, it, membrane key, there are a few, if you go on Amazon, there's still a whole bunch of membrane keyboards out there, including, of course, wireless ones, which just, this isn't. This is a fixed wire. So you also have to keep that in mind. Uh, it's going to be bent quite a bit. It sticks out of the back like here, and eventually it's just going to stop working uh, if you move it around a lot, um, which I do. Uh, so I like the option of a removable USB would have been nice. I would have liked the lights to be brighter. They don't have to put on a light show. I think that's cool, and I, would, I like that. But it's not a necessity. Um, responsive keys. Uh, I'm trying to see right now if it's doing. I mean, this this there's no delay or lag or anything with it. It's just they're just kind of mushy and kind of bottom out really easy. It's not a satisfying click, but uh, it gets the job done. Um, the keyboard's actually better on the laptop than it is on that. That said, we're going to be doing some. Uh, changes the laptops are going and I got a nice desktop uh, that I'm going to review as well and uh, it's a mini one uh, a lot of people are moving to the mini thing like a laptop is nice because you can use it here and I got all the, the cords and everything into the main unit but um you know it's nice to be able to but just just connect that and then take it with you but also it takes up more space on my desk and 
I often don't take it with me. I use the phone. I mean, the phone's powerful enough. I really, I mean, it's got an octa-core processor and everything else. It's a Samsung phone. So do I really need the laptop with me? Uh, not really. So I'm going to move to a desktop, which is kind of a reverse move. A lot of people move from desktops to laptops like I did. I had a desktop, a big gaming rig, uh, a bunch of them actually, and then I moved to the laptop. I actually got a gaming laptop, so I got an HP NV17 and uh, Alienware, and then I got into these little workload things because that's basically all I did, and I started gaming on consoles. Uh, and I ended up going to the Switch, which I should do a review for. Um, it won't be that positive, to be honest. Coming from the big consoles to the Switch, not really. But that's another video. So anyway, this one's been the ASIO Prism keyboard. And this is just a basic membrane kind of different color changing mode. keyboard not bad i wouldn't recommend it though thank you so much for watching please be safe and i'll see you on the next video